Here I am with another YouTube video, and I know you wanted the good stuff, so I'm giving you the good stuff. See, what I have to say today is it's not a long message. It's pretty short. I didn't see the game, but I just happened to turn on ESPN and watch Sports Center and see that the Celtics are down 0-2. Oh, what a travesty. What a what an unfortunate and I really do mean unfortunate situation, Boston. You see, I'm from Massachusetts. And even though I'm a New York Knicks fan, a part of me really, really, really wants me to see the Boston Celtics fail. No, scratch that. All of me wants to see the Boston Celtics fail. When the Boston Celtics fail, the New York Knicks succeed. And you see, the Brooklyn Nets already got swept. The 76ers already got swept. The Toronto Raptors are no longer your defending champions. So to see the Miami Heat beat the Boston Celtics, would, 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 which would eliminate, and I don't like the Miami Heat either, but to see the Boston Celtics get eliminated, that would eliminate all the Atlantic Division rivals from championship contention. That would be not only a home run. The fact that to see those Atlantic Division teams all bounce out the playoffs, go into the bubble for absolutely squat, and then seeing my New York Knicks in a couple months or whenever the draft is, because you know the NBA likes to play games. They like to play games with the New York Knicks. But to see the New York Knicks get into that draft and draft the next superstar of the league, whether it be that point guard from Europe, Denny Azavedia, or whether it be a sleeper pick, whoever it is, I trust in Leon Rose. In fact, not to digress here, but I had somebody in the comment section who said, Leon Rose doesn't have a plan. And I, I just couldn't help but just look at the comment and go, sir, the hell are you smoking? I, I know what the kids are inhaling nowadays is very strong. Whether it be the cocaine, whether it be the marijuana, whether it be the fentanyl. Hell, some of you are taking the needle. Don't do drugs, kids. But I know there's some strong-ish, some strong substances out there. And do not take any. Because for someone to say that Leon Rose doesn't have a plan, that's like saying that the New York Knicks colors are not orange and blue. That's like saying that this YouTube channel is not filled with clout, unmitigated goal, and temerity. To say that Leon Rose does not have a plan is it, it, it's just so misconstrued. It, it, it's so... It, 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 it's I, I just can't fathom. I, I, I can't fathom you would even put that out there. You would even say that. Leon Rose doesn't have a plan. Leon Rose will have us winning championships in no time, which I guarantee will be next year. But this goal in the bubble here is, let's face it, we're not really watching Politics is probably taking us out the game. But if I could end this season with no athletic division rival winning a championship and the Knicks are going to get stronger while those other teams in the Atlantic division are getting weaker, I'll be on cloud nine. This is miraculous. Leon Rose is sitting in his chair, his comfortable chair, and he's 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 inhaling this this information. And he's realizing this is what's gonna it's what's gonna take for us 
to be at the top. To see all those other teams crumble and us shooting up the leaderboards, this is what it's going to take. So Boston, I know I have a lot of Boston Celtics subscribers, Boston Celtics fans who parade the channel. Enjoy this series. Enjoy this month. Because this will be the last time you see Celtics basketball be relevant anymore. Because once the Miami Heat get done with you, they, they're going to sweep you. <laughs> you won't be bleeding green. You'll be bleeding that red from all the mass whoopings that the New York Knicks are going to give you from here on forth. <laughs> and I can't wait. Because, you know, it's not that green and white that does it. It's that orange and blue. And you know what I say about that orange and blue? That orange and blue will always, always reign supreme over you.